was just like, why is everything so hard for us? Like, I hate that everything is so hard. Love Meg just sold her home in Puller, Georgia, and she just made a large profit off the sale of this home. So we closed on it yesterday, and me and Justin just keep saying we cannot believe we own a home in Savannah now. Like, it is a dream come true for us. We worked so hard for this. We manifested this house. This house is not located in Savannah. It's in the suburbs of Savannah, and I find it interesting that a lot of you YouTubers say they manifested something, but they don't admit to manifesting something, you know, whatever they desire, until after they have it. So they make it sound so easy. Love Meg was able to manifest a great parking spot at Disney. If you haven't seen this video, you've got to check it out. I'll link it right here. Let's start at the beginning. Back in 2019, Love Meg and her husband bought this home for $450,000. We ended up getting this one for 450000 You can get a, a house this big that's 4,500 square feet, or we did, for $450,000. Right after closing on her house, Love Meg posted these two pictures on Instagram. And I specifically remember a lot of drama going on about the picture on the right, the picture of her key. A lot of people were saying that it's not safe to post a picture of the key to your house because someone can take that picture and have it made into a key. I remember a lot of drama going down about this. Love Meg and her husband actually contacted the county and tried to have their address hidden online, but they were unable to do so because they were not celebrity status. Do you guys remember all of this drama that went down? If you do, leave a comment. I'm not sure if you can take a photo of a key and have it made into a key. If I'm remembering correctly, I think they later came out and said this wasn't the actual key to their house. It was just a random key they took a picture of. I don't know if they were just saying that to protect themselves after the fact or if it was in fact just a random key. But to play it safe, I would say don't post pictures of your keys on social media. But that picture is still up on her Instagram account. I grabbed that screenshot today. I thought like hard work and you know, like everything yeah. has to be hard. Make it happen. Yeah, and now we realize it's more about believing and faith than it is about hard work and stressing out. Yeah. They believe in order to get what you want in life, it's not about hard work or stressing out. It's more about believing, faith, and of course, manifesting. Because she said they manifested this house. Immediately after purchasing their house in Savannah, they posted this video, how we manifested our dream home. Law of attraction proof. She posted several videos about this home in Savannah and every thumbnail shows a picture of a different house. She never shows the actual house on any of her thumbnails. And some might say, oh, well, she's doing that for safety reasons. She doesn't want to show the front of her house. I don't believe that's true because she has showed her house from every angle so many times. I think sometimes YouTubers use these extravagant pictures in their thumbnails. It's just like clickbait. It makes you think that's their home when it's really not. This is her thumbnail for her 2019 empty house tour. And look, it's a completely different house. So today I'm gonna give y'all the empty house tour. There's nothing in our house. We closed on it yesterday. This is a picture of her living room after they first moved in. Do you guys remember this furniture? This furniture is from her old house and it was a little too small for this living room. So she eventually got the blue couch. I actually, found a picture of the couch. This is what it's gonna look like. So it's a sectional, but it has like two of the pieces that come out like a chase lounge. After moving in this house, one of the first renovations they did was the kitchen. They painted the kitchen cabinets white and got new quartz countertops, I believe. And recently they renovated their master bathroom. They painted the countertops. They painted the cabinets. And here's a shot of the before and after. They did a lot of renovations to this house, a lot of DIYs for sure. I'm not listing them all in this video, but this house has definitely gone through a transformation. They got all new carpet, and I believe they had to replace the AC unit as well. I feel like we don't have enough stuff for this house. But... It's funny to hear her say that because she definitely filled that house up fast, full of stuff. Now they had so many other plans for that house that they didn't do. She wanted to put a pool in the backyard. She wanted a hot tub. Eventually I have plans for a jacuzzi because I've always wanted a jacuzzi. I'm not the type of person that says, oh, this is my forever house or I'll be here forever. But I told him the other day, I was like, I think I'll be here forever. <laughs> like I could live in this house, in this neighborhood, in Savannah forever. 
Let's fast forward to current day. They decided to put this house on the market. When we were doing this bathroom, it was not in our heads that we were going to be selling the house. It was, this is made for us. Like we are doing all the things yeah. that we want it to be like. And then, um, but you guys know, <laughs> kitchens and bathrooms sell a house. Yeah. The picture on the left is a screenshot from a video posted pretty recent. And the picture on the right is from a video posted just yesterday, I think. She removed her nails. She dyed her hair darker and said when she's traveling, she won't be wearing as much makeup because she doesn't want to carry all of this stuff with her. And I'll be honest, I'm digging the picture on the right. She looks more natural, I think. In this video, they announce putting their house on the market and they say the market value of their house has doubled in three years. Well, it did not double in three years. Um, we were realizing that the value of our house has like doubled in three years. Yeah. And so we started talking about it and we're like, man, there's not often that you can have that situation where you can buy a house and then three years later, you double the price. He's definitely right about that. And they made a lot of money off the sale of this house. Now, since they're still living in the house for a few months, I think they're renting it back from the new owners. I won't be sharing exact numbers in this video for safety reasons, for privacy reasons. But as soon as they move, I will make a follow-up video and give you guys the exact numbers. Their house is officially sold. So I do have the numbers. They just got a big fat check from selling this house. They made a ton of money off this house. The value of their house didn't double, but they definitely made a large profit. And we already have some amazing offers on the table. So it can't get any better than that. Their house sold for more than the listing price. I'm sure they had a bidding war going on, which is exactly what you want to happen when you're selling your house. So right now they're selling their house during the best time possible because they've just made a lot of money off the sale of this house but they're waiting for the market to go down to buy. So I don't see them buying another house for a couple of years unless the market crashes sometime soon. So their plan is to just travel for the next year and rent to Airbnbs. They'll wait for the market to crash or go down, then they'll buy another home. No one knows if the housing market is going to crash or go down, but that's what they're holding out for. But I don't see them buying another 4,500 square foot home again. Love Meg recently admitted her views have gone down on her channel. If your views go down, you're making less money. She said they've made up for it in other areas like she has lovemeg.video now, Justin is working more now. She said they've added other streams of income to make up that difference. Since their income has changed drastically since moving in that house, a lot of viewers think they're selling because they can't afford it anymore. I've heard a lot of viewers say they think Love Meg is broke. She actually addressed it. I covered everything that she said over on Instagram in this video. You gotta go check it out. In case you're wondering their different income streams, she made a list on Instagram. She said YouTube, both of our channels, lovemeg.video, Instagram both, sponsors, Love Meg cleaning product, Justin travel planning for people. The same as it is now, maybe adding on some other things like selling B-roll footage, more presets, selling pictures of my feet, the last one's a joke but the possibilities are endless. Go check out this video where Love Meg tries to squash the rumor that she's broke.